Welcome back to the RAS, ACS, and Behind the Knife Journal Club on Landmark Papers and Surgery. The paper we'll be covering today is titled Mangled Extremity Score and Amputation, Time for a Revision. My name is Jordan Rain. I'm a general surgery resident at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Thanks for tuning in. Today I will be covering extremity trauma and more specifically we'll be touching on the MESS score its relevance to extremity trauma and its ability to predict limb salvage. MESS was developed more than two decades ago and was thought to predict amputation with 100% accuracy. But currently, the utility of this score has mixed opinions amongst surgeons. MESS is calculated by accounting for duration of limb ischemia, greater than or less than six hours, limb ischemia severity, patient's age, shock on arrival, and severity of mechanism. The foundational publication was a retrospective analysis of 25 patients that then led to a prospective trial conducted between two trauma centers, which demonstrated a significant difference, once again, between scores of salvaged limbs and those of doomed limbs. This threshold was a score of seven, whereby the score any higher had a 100% amputation rate. However, the winds of change seem to have reached this topic, advancements in trauma management and therapeutic intervention may have impacted the relevance of this SCORE's application. Prospective observational vascular injury treatment, or PROVE-IT registry, was used for this study. It is a prospectively collected database of injuries to named arterial and venous structures from 14 level 1 trauma centers. This study included data from 2013 to 2015. The reason for exploring a MESS threshold of 5 versus 8 is that a MESS of 5 had a better balance of sensitivity and specificity than 8 which the creators of the score felt was an appropriate threshold in modern treatment era. The risk of amputation was modeled using univariable logistic regression to predict amputation with a mess cutoff of five and eight. Significant variables were identified, including the injury mechanism, the presence of a transection of nerve, arterial injury location, injury, injury severity score, concomitant nerve and orthopedic injury. These factors were used in the multivariable model. Of the 230 patients, 88% of them were men with an average age of 34 years old. The mechanisms of injury were evenly split between blunt and penetrating trauma in the MESS less than 8 group. The most common vascular injury in this group was a femoral artery injury in 44% of patients, followed by popliteal artery injuries in 26%. The most common type of injury was an arterial transection found in 46% of patients. 22% had concurrent venous injuries, 41% had concurrent orthopedic injuries, and 14% had concurrent nerve injuries. In comparing patients with a MESS score less than 8 to those with 8 or greater, the following factors were significantly different. Patients with higher MESS scores were older, more likely to have arterial transection, had higher injury severity scores, and higher rates of concurrent nerve and orthopedic injuries. Additionally, they were more likely to sustain blunt trauma. An ROC analysis showed the best balance of sensitivity and specificity was a MESS score equal to 5 compared to a MESS score of 8. However, a MESS of 5 was only predictive of amputation in 20% of cases, while a score of 8 predicted amputation in 43% of cases. Based on prior studies and this increase in ability to predict amputation, a mess of eight was chosen for further analysis. Ultimately, amputations were performed in 43 patients, 18.7%, with a median mess score of six. Patients with salvaged limbs had a median mess of four. Significant results are listed, but they're mainly this. Blunt injuries were associated with amputation with an odds ratio of 6.4 compared to penetrating injuries. This was statistically significant. Nerve transection was associated with amputation with an odds ratio of 2.4. Popliteal artery injuries were associated with an almost seven-fold higher risk of amputation than femoral artery injuries. Concomitant nerve and orthopedic injuries were associated with amputation with an odds ratio 
of almost 12 and 7 respectively. Something that was not significant, the injury severity score was only weakly associated with amputation with an odds ratio of 1.02 and a p-value of 0 0.08. Above is table 4, to pull directly from the paper. It shows that a MESS score of 8 or greater was associated with a longer stay in the hospital and intensive care unit. There was a higher percentage of both primary traumatic amputations performed for damage control and overall amputations in the group of patients with a MESS of 8 or greater. There was no statistically significant difference in the number of re-interventions or in death between the groups. In conclusion, the key point of the study is that the authors found that a MESS score of 8 or higher was not predictive of the need for amputation. The strongest predictor, in fact, of amputation was concurrent nerve injury. And after adjustment of, for confounding variables, concomitant nerve injury was the only factor that remained an independent predictor of amputation, with an odds ratio of 6.9 and a significant p-value. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, my name is Jordan Rain. I'm a general surgery resident, University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach me by email provided below. Don't forget to check out this week in score topic on extremities injuries. Thanks for listening.